Hi there, Cancer Leo. This is Lana, the Comedian Medium. I am coming to you to bring a love and relationship reading for the month of March. I'm sorry I'm, I'm late. I just haven't been feeling very well. I'm kind of dragging. Uh, please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading or hypnosis. Cards coming out. Hmm. I might. Yeah. I don't know. Um, also visit EnchantedSky.com. You can book a reading. Um, visit my blog page. Um, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook. All right. Let's get down to this. Yeah, I was right. I, I do meditation before I, I, I do a, before I come in here and, and read these, I do, for, and then gives me a little bit of uh, foresight, okay? So now, in the past, you know, you guys were more, probably focused more on your career, okay, than on the actual relationship of love, okay? Um, you know, you're trying to put your ducks in a row and maybe trying to get married, maybe wanting to get married, but or maybe in a, trying to find a new relationship, um, but at the same time, you know, you're working really hard towards your goals and through, and I want to say a lot of you guys are concentrating more on your jobs. Okay. Um, now there's a chance here for coming up in a relationship. Now it's coming up quickly. I want to say somebody's going to want to get married. There's going to be a birth of a child. There's going to be a new relationship. There's going to be... And something's got to change in the relationship, okay? Um, I want to say to be happy. I feel like there's um, a little bit of unhappiness or boredom in the relationship. And it's got to change a little. It's to get to here, all right? Some people have got to do some shifting. Maybe um, there's some ideals that need to be revisited, okay? I mean, their happy family is, is, is you know, over the whole thing. But you also got the juggling, the juggling of time and money. And you're looking for a balance. And that's literally what this is, okay? Um, I want to say for a lot of you guys... You're going to end up happy, okay? It's just you've got to find what you want that's going to get you there through this month. You're coming out of Mercury in retrograde. You've been visiting some past hurts, some past thoughts, some past... <sighs> items that you've been trying to deal with, okay? Um... It's, I want to say that also, for some of you guys, to get you to this place, you need to watch your money. Okay? So, like, I can see how some people may be getting married. Okay? And they are watching their mom money because they've got to they have the money that they need to pay for the wedding or to move out or, okay? That's how I'm feeling about this whole thing. You you want to go forward. You got to have the change you need. You're not happy with the status quo, but money's coming. There's money that's in in the process of helping to rectify some of this. But they're telling, urging you to be careful with your finances so that you can get to these cards. Okay, there might be a birth. There might be a move. Like I said, there might be a moving out. There could be a new job. This could be a new job that pays better money, that call, helps get you to where you need. Maybe maybe you are looking for a new job. Maybe your relationship has kind of been in the rocks a little bit because of the money. All I know is that you're going to be happy with what you're going to be, is going to be happening in this month, okay? Um, I want to say a couple people are getting paid just in time to pay their bills or to balance their checkbooks or maybe to get to here, okay? This is a happy, this is a very good card. It's, 
you have to remember that. It's it makes you happy. It it's uh, joyous. It's a new relationship. It's love and joy and peace and all that good stuff. And you've got it mixed with the happy family card. I mean, you can't get any better than that that card right there. It's like the it's joy, peace, patience, happiness, love, family, togetherness. But you've got also got money cards involved in here. And to me, it looks like if I had to say, I would have said that there's possibly a new situation that's bringing more money. Maybe, maybe your person that you're involved with is getting a new job also, and there's more money coming. I want to say that there's just enough time right now to juggle it all to get it done. Now, you might be very, 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 very busy also in this month. Okay, that could be what this is. For me personally, for this card, I this is usually when there's money being juggled. There's usually like you have to run and go pay some bills and then you're happy and then you've got all this other money. It This might be coming to tell you that you're paying off bills. You see, look at you got cards here and it's urging you to watch, to hold to you. Steadfast, not be miserly, but hold fast to your money. So that you can get to here, to this happy person part. And so it's telling you, you may be coming in this month where you and your spouse or you and your girlfriend or your fiance or whoever you're related, you're, you're in a relationship with, are paying some things off so that you can have some freedom and some happiness and take the stress off you, okay? Now for the others, there may be a person coming in that may be offering you money, may be offering you maybe a business partnership. Um, it can be something that that is very positive that leads you to a happy family, okay? Um, I know that here is a, a cup of love. There is somebody offering you something um, very positive. I feel like for some of you, maybe switching careers a little bit and... It's taking off pressure off your relationship. It's taking pressure off of you. Um, please remember that also a new job, a new career, a new opportunity can be like a relationship, okay? Because you, people, I don't think people forget that, you know, some people are married to their jobs. <laughs> it's that simple, okay? I just know that there is some unhappiness that's involved right now um, to release yourself from. You've got an upside down star card, which is, you know, you're, you're pushing yourself forward and you're just not real happy. So with the way things are. So like I said, there might be some people that decided that they got to go to the next level with their relationship. They got to go to the next level with their job to be happy to this position. Okay. It's, it depends on you and how you want to approach it. But I do know that you've got, um, you've got some good stuff on your side happening, okay? It's all in how you approach it, all right? Let's see what else I get off of my Moonology cards. A new start is coming, see? And for some of you guys, it's like you're going to run off and get married or you're going to run off. You may meet somebody too. This could be meeting somebody too. Don't, don't think that that's not possible. You're, you're completely single. You're going to be getting, you're going to be getting into a relationship that's going to make you happy. That's going to lead to a happy family. So it's a bunch. I feel for some people though, like it's, they've got to go out and strike on their own with the new, with the relationship they're in. They're in a dull phase and they're just, it's, it's kind of like spinning its wheels you know it's stuck a little bit prosperity lies ahead so there's the prosperity cards for you look at the bigger picture you need to be happy Surve surrender to the divine which is telling me totally that this is pre-orchestrated this is this is something that's supposed to help you um that this is coming from the other side to give you some help Okay. Keep your confidence and you're going to win this. It's like this. So if you're in, the, in a relationship, you're going forward. You got to make some changes because it's, it's stagnating. 
If you're not in a relationship, you have one coming. Could also have a, a pop, pop, a probability, excuse me, of possibly starting a new one, a new relationship with somebody. All right, in this month, this is a very pivotal month, it looks like, for my Cancer Leos. So it's all up to you how you want to approach it. Now, don't, just remember that in this card, it's one of the best cards, it's a nice card. It could mean that find, someone finds out they're pregnant, they find out they have a job, they find out they're getting married, <laughs> they go, surprise, let's get married. Um, you may be moving out, you may be moving up, you may be, all right? It's a card of emotion. It's a card of see, see the water. Water is emotional. Do you see how it's being given to you divinely? Do you see that it's also a marriage, a birth, okay? It's any of those things. So I just want you to remember that. Focus on that this month and make this happen. Now, I always have to tell, warn some people because... They always say things like, well, it didn't happen. And Well, if you are bound and determined, you don't want this relationship. It's a free will. You don't have to have this happen. But if you want it to happen, do your homework. You know, um, if the, the cards are saying you have a chance for a job, then why don't you go out and look for one? All right. Do you see the, how you can go the other direction and make sure it doesn't happen? It's all up to you. That's why the that's why it's called free will. Okay? So just consider how to make yourself happy this month. It's on its way. Okay? With that said, this is Land of the Beauty and Medium. And um, I'll be coming real, real soon with your April readings. I just am behind this right now. And I apologize. I just haven't been feeling really well coming out of the Mercury and Retrograde. So, blessings.